What's going on guys, Eve here from the Austin Show. Joe. Come back at you with some more McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse figures. This time we have the Wonder Woman 1984 figures. So we were able to find these at Target yesterday. And so again, this is from Wonder Woman 1984 that unfortunately got pushed back and it was supposed to come out in June and now it's coming out like later towards the end of the year or something. So we don't know what's gonna exactly go on in the movie and stuff and happen with like the figures, especially like the golden armor here. But these figures look really good. I think the golden armor, like her face and stuff, which we'll see looks a little bit funny, but the armor looks really cool. But the actual base Basic Wonder Woman to me looks really good. So I'm excited to look at these though. So let's go ahead and get them out. So first up we have just the normal Wonder Woman. And again, like I mentioned earlier, she looks really good. Like especially the armor just looks absolutely amazing. It's like such a cool upgrade and stuff. Of course, classic Wonder Woman looks drawn straight from it. It just looks so good. But of course you can see her classic armor and stuff. So it has the red like corset thing with the gold on top of it. You can see like the little bit of an eagle and has of course like the W for Wonder Woman. Same there on her belt. Has the W there in the middle. Has the little hook for her lasso of truth. Of course the skirting hanging down with the blue. With the gold ends on it. She has the tiara up on top of her head. She has a gold armband right there on her arm, of course, with like the Wonder Woman logo. The silver gauntlets there on her arms, which is cool. Then, of course, the nice bright red boots on there with the gold detailing, especially on like the knee pad stuff. Look just completely awesome. The red is such a good red color. But bringing it up close, we can look there at her face. I think it looks pretty good. You know, not 100% accurate to Gal Gadot, but it still looks very good, I think. And you can really see the tiara there up on her head and stuff. But yeah, I think it looks pretty good again. It looks like it's a little bit fatter face, but not too bad at all. And then the hair there looks really nice too. Nice brown hair there with like the blonde highlighting details and stuff. Looks very good. Nice hairstyle. And then again, you can see the armor there. Again, that red is just like a nice shiny metallic red. It just looks super good. It's like a bright candy apple red too. It just like glistens and shines very nice. Everything's metallic. So it has the obviously metallic gold. But blue's got a metallic paint to it as well. And then the boots just look absolutely amazing with that red color and all the gold detailing. Of course, all the bands holding it together. So it looks just absolutely amazing. For movements though, we got some pretty good range movements on this so the head can twist a little bit it's a little bit stiff i don't know if the hair is in the way or what but it can twist a little bit side to side and look down and look up again not much movement at all i like i said i think the hair is mostly in the way just because it's so long and up against the back but we go to the arm so first off we have the butterfly joint there so it allows the arm to go just kind of move back and forth a little bit and it allows it to go in the rotational movement there as you can see but the actual shoulder comes up about 90 degrees and can rotate all the way around we've got the bicep twist and a double elbow joint which has some pretty good bend into it you can almost get it completely folded back up so pretty good movement there and then we go down to the wrist that's on the ball joint there and of course it can flex back and forth like that and hand can twist all the way around but then we go to the ab crunch right under her chest so you can see it there so she can go back a little forward a little not a whole lot of range of movement in these but you get some crunch in there and then we have the twist though is mostly what that is for so you can twist side to side and then we do have the lower crunch right there right at her waist so it can bend her forward more and back some more so a combination of both the crunches allows some pretty good range of crunching then to her hips so her legs come out about 90 degrees it looks like they're straight out and then off to the side a good amount very close to 90 degrees no thigh twist or anything but then we go down to the double knee joint so we got the double knee there and allows only to bend up that far just because this everything's interfering and contacting so a little bit over 90 degrees and then we've got the ankle so again the ankles on the ball joint that counts is sort of hidden in there so that's pretty cool that they it's trying to hide but again it's the same ball joint so like this can go back and forth is really all it does but they can twist there as well again within the range and off with the little toe joint there so the toes can move up and everything so that's pretty cool so overall a really good looking figure i haven't really seen any problems of course the body looks a little too like uh pale or i don't know what you'd call it, like just plain like the legs of course are really long since she has an amazon has the really long legs bare arms and stuff it just seems a little bit too plain i feel that it should have had more color to it or something but it still looks really good that armor just absolutely looks amazing but of course we have accessories so first off we have the base we can just pop her on there so there we go so it again just keeps her more steady and stuff from falling over then of course with wonder Woman, we have to have her last so true so first off we have a wound up one that is all you know wrapped up and everything that we can hook onto her belt onto that loop so it just hangs on there like that so it's, i like how it's you know kept pretty flush it, you Know, sticks off a little but it still lays on there pretty good so that's awesome and if you've seen the trailer for the movie one of the coolest parts of the scene is when she rides the lightning so we have her lasso of truth there with the like little lasso part on it where she can ride the lightning so you can obviously just take this and put it into her hand at some i don't know how well she'll hold this but you can just stick it into her hand and then she can you know be uh lassoing it out obviously she can lasso it around some villains or something or she could be you know doing like the lightning but that's uh pretty cool i guess again with it being just a real thin th uh, thing like this it's kind of hard to get it to <laughs> 
<laughs> do something without it just flopping down like that. But still pretty cool that it comes with that additional lasso though. That's pretty cool. And our last thing of course is the car there. So there's a picture of her from the trailer from Wonder Woman 1984. Again, looks very good. I think it looks pretty well. Again, the face um, looks a little bit off. It's not perfect. And then the hair looks darker in the picture than it is more brown in the figure. But if we flip around, we have again the same picture there. And for the data file, it says Wonder Woman 1984 from a 2020 film. Real name Princess Diana of Themyscira or Diana Prince. She's 5'10". And it says from Amazon Princess to the world's greatest warrior, Wonder Woman is at the height of her power but living a quiet life as a Smithsonian creator, Diana Prince. Her compassion for mankind is strong despite man's flaws, but now she must draw on her incredible strength, courage, and wisdom to battle her greatest foe, the cheetah. So we already know that cheetah is going to be in the movie, and I'm excited to actually see what she looks like. I've seen the Funko Pop, and I think it looks pretty good, so it'll be interesting to see how it translates into the movie and stuff, but that's going to be it for the basic Wonder Woman. Then our other one is the Golden Armor Wonder Woman. Again, this thing looks pretty cool. Again, I think the face looks a little bit weird. It has, like, more detailed or colored stuff, I think, to it than the last figure did, but it still doesn't look a little perfect. Again, looks too fat or something, but the armor is really cool, except for the midsection part here, which is a little bit off and I can't get to fix, but it looks super awesome, especially with the big giant gold wings and the all gold armor. Of course, except for her silver gauntlets there on arms, but everything else is complete gold and it just looks amazing. So if we bring it up close here, you can see the face there. Again, I don't know if you guys can see what I see, but like I said, it just seems like her face is just so thick. I think probably with the um, armor pieces around it, it just like makes her face look so fat, unfortunately, but it still, I think, looks about the same. You know, it looks relatively close to Gal Gadot, just not perfect, but it looks awesome with the helmet with the eagle, like be coming up to the top there and then like all sorts of wing designs coming down. Of course, her hair sticking down there in the back looks like it's shortened up a bit, but still looks pretty good. And then we've got, of course, the all golden eagle armor. So we have the big giant gold wings here on the back, which have all the nice details there of like the wing blades and stuff. You can see it on the back and they're just in little ball joints. So you can get them to twist up and then they do flex about like that. And it's on a ball joint. And again, the all golden armor. So have the shoulder pads, the like almost like chain mailing stuff there all down arm. And then of course the old guard golden armor there on her chest and then goes down to her waist again this is the piece it's so this is like a obviously like a flimsy plastic over the abdomen here but it's off to the side and i can't get sh it straightened up which is really annoying because it's off to the side and it just annoys me looks like she's sitting all crooked and everything so that's really annoying and i'm trying to get it to like pulled over and twist around. I don't know if we can figure out how to do that some way, but it's just really annoying. Again, the chain mailing continues down her legs, as you can see there with additional armor platings. Nice knee pad going on there down to the boots where it's completely covered so you don't see any skin or anything. Even the ankle joints are completely gold. So for a moment, it's going to be about the same. So the head can twist, twist a little bit better again because the hair is so shorter. So you can look down and again, can't look too far up because of the hair. The armor pads here on the shoulder are on like a flimsy plastic rubber so they can move so you don't have any issues there. But we still have the butterfly style joint if we can, I can't really get it to show you there but you can see that range movement and the shoulder does come up and actually goes higher than the last one and it can go up almost to 180 degrees but it rotates all the way around as well of course the wings getting in the way got the bicep twist again the double elbow joint has the same range of movement so it can get up folded real close there just like that and the exact same wrist again on the ball joint so twist all the way around and flex on the direction of the ball and it has like brown wrappings around its hand the last Wonder Woman did too I don't know what those are supposed to be just like some sort of leather but the color it is looks like a first aid bandage or something so hopefully she's not Injured. Then the same sort of crunch. So again, we have the crunch. It goes back a little bit forward. Some of the wings are make it hard, but back and forward there. So good range there and twist side to side. And I assume she has the lower crunch in there too. It's hard with her armor and everything, but I assume she has that crunch in there. Then to her legs, her legs can come up 90 degrees out to the side. Not as far as the last figure, but still pretty good movement. Double knee joint that again bends only that far up because of the contact there on the back of the leg. And then down to the foot on the ball joint again. So we have the rocking back and forth there again because the the boot you don't get too much range movement but it twists around in there as well and then we have the toe joint right there on the end of it so overall again a very good looking figure just that abdomen piece for me is messed up but everything else does look pretty good don't really have any pain issues or anything it just looks awesome with all the solid gold there so for the only other thing she really comes with she comes with the base so it's got a flight base on it so obviously you can just stick her plane on there but we also have the flight base to lift her up in the air and put her in the grabs here so let's try that so there she is and it's hard to get her up on the base because her wings in the back kind of get in the way to wrap it around her chest but that's probably the best thing you can do. Again, her range movements aren't perfect, so you can't really get her into like a flying position, really. It just doesn't work out that well, especially with like the head on not only looking back so far, so she can't really like fly around. She just has to look like she's floating there. So that's kind of unfortunate with these. You usually can't get them to look like they're actually flying, but it's still cool that it comes with that base so you can stand it or have them up in the air hovering. Then, of course, she has the card there as well, so there's a picture in the golden armor there. Looks pretty cool. Again, her face doesn't, looks a little bit different, not nearly as like chubby as it does in the figure, and then her hair comes 
comes around to the side stuff but the armor everything else looks pretty good and straight on except for of course her abdomen straight so it looks very good there if we go around to the back further data file of course says from wonder woman 1984 princess diana of the Mascure, diana prince 510 we saw that but it says in her golden armor wonder woman is the ultimate embodiment of power grace wisdom and wonder an amazon warrior whose strength defies challenge and whose courage shines so very cool there kind of little explains her armor stuff that she's going to be fighting some things and from what i read about this is that she's using it because she's going to be fighting multiple villains so that'll be interesting to see what villains we know cheetah obviously so it'll be interesting to see the others so that's really cool so that's gonna be it for these wonder woman figures from wonder woman 1984 from mcfarland toys again really good looking figures especially the plain wonder woman if you want a wonder woman figure that's the one to go with and then the golden eagle armor is really cool as well again the face looks a little bit weird and then ours is messed up there in the abdomen but in that it looks amazing as well but like i said if you just want to play wonder woman definitely go with the basic one so i hope you enjoyed this review let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to see our last dc multiverse figures you can check that out here over on the left and on the right you can see all of our dc multiverse figures thank you all for watching remember to stay awesome and i'll see you next time